Hello my lovely Geminis, how are you loves? I hope everybody's well. Gemini, today will do your last week of October. This is a weekly reading loves, take what resonates most, leave what doesn't. As you always know, I might speak directly to you or with somebody who you might deal and we call the cross watcher. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for Geminis for the fourth week of October 2020. Let's take here, loves, what the predictions are for this week and where we're hitting, what's the energy, who you are surrounding in and what the advice is and what the awareness gotta be in here. All right, Gemini, we have Chapwood Energy, Blessed and come to the edge. Underneath we have the yin energy, the feminine energy, allowing things to happen, allowing things to come to you. And I feel here there is something here you gotta do kind of like by the book, tap wood. Start doing the things which are feeling that they are right to you or those things you consider very, very important. As the Holy Spirit says, when you do this way, you will get more. Also, Spirit says, be more grounded or find that point that you can do the things in a better way. And also, the most important thing of being grounded is to be happy where you are. Also, allowing the energy only beneficial to you and not for others. In a big, big picture, Gemini, take care of you first thing first and then to others. And definitely their blessings are coming towards you. And many of you might experience this week an uplifting energy and you might feel like why, how, and what happens here. But definitely here that that will be something here. You, you might feel confused about why. But Spirit says, especially with this, come to the edge. Take the leap of faith. Accept, accepting. Overcome the fears you have. And Spirit says, never ever stop moving forward with whatever you want. Let's see here, loves, what we got from the spirit. What the energy here for you. What the storyline behind all this. And keep in mind that every week might be differently for each of you. This week might resonate this message because I might pick your energy. Next week might resonate with somebody close to you or might not resonate with somebody who you even know. But definitely here for some of you, if you are inclined to see this video by the title or feel drawn, you definitely have a message in here. Let's see here. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. Queen of Cups. Might be connected with a water sign or you might project that water energy here, emotional energy. Queen of Cups is a motherly love to me and many of you definitely might connect with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But other thing here is the feminine energy, accepting love. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Hangman. Six of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups. There's some confusion here between you and somebody. Cancer Scorpio Pisces definitely doesn't need to be, but I feel here there's something here doesn't really go along or how needs completely to be. Okay? There is some sort of imbalance in here. And that might not be too much communication between you and this person. Spirit says... It is time for you to say it straight forward. Say out loud the things. And don't feel, well, if I don't say the things will get better. Okay? Because many, many couples in this world 
not communicating properly, uh, losing each other. And at the end, some, some people say, well, we grow apart. Yes, that's a very big possibility that you can grow apart when there's no communication. There's no that give and take energy. Because I feel here, there is something here, either one of you, either both of you need, knows what to do, but doesn't. Because there's not too much action in here with this hangman energy, with this Piscean energy. But let's see here, Gemini. It seems to me that is you are connected with somebody at this time, but there's too much confusion. Things go a little quite slow, 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 slow. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Star, High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Magician, Judgment, Eight of Wands, and Five of Pentacles. All right, loves, what it tells me here, somebody here might have a secret connection in the past. And I feel here it's from the past as we speak right now. Okay, for those of you who feel there is imbalanced energy here. For some of you, what I'm seeing here, Gemini, I do see young energy. For some of you, might have kids with whoever you, you are connected and it's quite short. Somebody here feels like, well, I want more but for some reason I can't. If that's a case in our family environment, if somebody here has somebody as a secret, because I see here there is somebody as a secret in here, single person, okay? And it's, it shows me that there will be communication here. Be aware the one who have that third party here with the judgment here will be found. I feel here there is some secrets here will come out. If somebody here is communicating secretly, because I definitely see here communication from afar probably, I definitely hear somebody will feel very, very bad here. Let's see here why this five of pentacles is right here. Will of Fortune, Seven of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. Two more cards. Yes, I feel here there is something here. Most likely the feminine energy could be the masculine. We see feminine here. It feel like they do all the work by themselves. Another thing what I'm feeling here, I do see here a commitment, but there's so much like, will this commitment goes forward? Should I continue forward? Should I not? What should I do? And feels like a burden for some of you who are married, especially, that this commitment requires so much work. And one of you doesn't really know, should I continue or not? Let's see here, what's the matter with this page of pentacles right here. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Definitely here, there is something here. Either there is an earth sign in between or there is money things here in between. Three of Swords, yes. If somebody here choose to go forward and stay in a stable commitment, the, the other person will, will be very sad here because they thought that things will work forward. Absolutely, yes. This person, this earth sign, whoever is connected here, you Gemini or the person you are dealing, I feel here this earth sign really wants to work things here. Because I definitely see here the third party definitely could be an earth or could be a financial situation here. 
it's just very much back and forth energy so that's what I need to say it because sometimes I might say well it's a person but sometimes we'll go back and forth so definitely I feel here there is something here will come out somebody is saying I gotta work on things I will work on the things And one of you might say, well, I don't feel it's worth it. I'm not sure if it's worth it. And definitely here, there's a lack of communication. There's some things here coming up as we move in the Scorpio season. There's something here you thought it's great. There is coming apart. Okay. That's why the energy of be grounded more. And take some risks out there because the blessings are there and allowing allowing energy in here let's see here Gemini one advice for you whatever you are and how you are you know better let's see three of Pentacles working on things One more. Queen of Wands. Being passionate. Nine of Wands. That's the effort. Let's see. One more. And lovers. And underneath we have temperance being patient if it's a thing here in regards to your work and there is a lack of finances here spirit says you need to still fight for what you need and for what you want even feels quite hard and it's not like you know nothing works it's like the effort needs to be put in there also communicate properly because that might not be just in the relationship where you are but could be on the other side too could be your work could be your environment could be society and as well there is a choice here either you say well everything goes crazy everything's slippery everything is this or you can put effort there's a choice there's a big big Thing in that so definitely here there is some misunderstandings there is a truth coming out Gemini also spirit says as you notice here we have three Queens the only Queen is missing is Queen of Swords which is your Queen which that it's very much speaking about communication being very truthful what you gotta say being clear for what you want to want to say being clear for what you want to do and move from that all right gemini's this is what i got for you and as well to not forget to be patient okay already gemini's thank you so much for watching being here and in tune with this energy Love and light to all of you. And of course, we'll see you next time. Have an awesome week ahead. Namaste.